Hello my beautiful and amazing people, Badass Dark Zone Agent Uncle Butcher in the building with new off meta setup which is insane because not only you can rock it in PvE but also in PvP. You have to do only one simple tweak, you have to switch weapon damage core attributes for armor core attributes and you're ready to go to slay dark zone and clap booty cheeks like there is no tomorrow juicy booty cheeks and the reason is quite obvious because everybody is using face tank builds in dz you need to be as fat as possible and that's only thing you have to switch in this build if you want to use this in pvp and by the way we are using capacitor yes welcome to the insanity uncle butcher in the building if you're new to my channel hit that like smash that sub or leave a hateful comment it really depends on your preference in any case welcome to the family so like i said we are using in this one capacitor guys but don't worry it hits hard baby it has ton of base damage value and since it's hybrid of meta build not only we have pretty much uh, six offensive core attributes in this build also we have maximum health to our shield and don't forget that our, we have three skill tiers which will make our fixed drone really decent it will heal us a lot it will give us the uh, necessary armor again for any face tank build and on top of that we need three skill tiers in DZ to fight skill builds. Guys, you need three skill tiers in DZ if you will face some nasty skill build users. So also really handy. But before we continue, quick warm they sponsor DV.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then DV.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens extremely easily here if you have any questions don't hesitate drop your comment down below in comment section or contact the operator and don't forget to use my promo code rbd for rbd to receive 15 percent discount on absolutely all services amazing deal but now let's get back to my off meta legendary build and like i said it will work in pvp really easily you need only armor but in pv we have everything you possibly would want maximum health to our shield at the same time 1.2 1.3 million armor with better rolls then we have six offensive core attributes so and three skill tiers so we have three skill tiers three armor core attributes that makes our shield the maximum possible power Three skill tiers will help us a lot with healing from fixed drone. Three weapon damage core attributes will give us DPS, but don't forget that three skill tier attributes will give us 7.5% additional weapon damage from capacitor itself. So perfect combination, man. Capacitor with all the boosts will give us 60% as well skill damage, but we don't really need skill damage in this one. Technician specialization will give us additional skill tier in this build. We will gain disrupt grenades, extremely handy. For second weapon, you have a couple options. You could use shield splinter with perfect optimist or famas. My favorite weapon is famas in the game since day one. I really love assault rifles and famas simply for me is the way to go although you could use shield splinter or easy money maybe even king break and use link at laser point attachment which will be given to you from technician specialization as well so you have plenty options pretty much you can rock whatever assault rifle in this build so it will fit your playstyle trust me and again it's a template you can tweak some things here and there for your liking and to be more efficient i guess so yeah I'm rocking for mass with Optimist. Uh, for the pistol though, I'm using Orbit with Perfect Finisher. This pistol is unfortunately DZ exclusive. How you want to play with this gun? Kill non elite enemy, boom stitch to your main weapon, and you have capped out crit chance and crit damage for 10 seconds, I think, something around those numbers. In terms of my DPS numbers, I have decent crit chance, good crit damage, I have some headshot damage, and of course health damage because we are using assault rifle damage. Uh, excuse me, assault 
rifles. For the mask though I'm using Bellastone Armory. Why Bellastone Armory? Because we will gain Armor Regen. Armor Regen is really important in PvP and PvE, especially in DZ. Now paired up with Fixer Drone and we're gonna heal ourselves pretty pretty well. So really good setup, tanky setup. If you want to use it in PvP, use everywhere armor. If you want to use this setup in conflict, then everywhere weapon damage core attributes. Conflict is all about glass cannon builds, I think, and DZ is more about tanky setups, especially if you are fighting multiple agents at uh, once or at the same time. Uh, for the holster, excuse me, for the chest piece, I'm using Arcabus chest piece with obliterate talent and holster, Picaro's name and holster and two piece brand set bonus will give us additional skill tier. So I'm rolling that holster with skill tier, 7.5% additional weapon damage to our capacitor, two piece brand set bonus will give us additional skill tier. So pretty much the holster alone is giving us 30% weapon damage. For the backpack though, I'm using Fenris. Fenris will give us 10% additional assault rifle damage and I'm using companion. Companion will be procced all the time baby with uh, uh, fixer drone. Fixer drone will proc it, companion is active and obliterate talent will be stacked pretty much all the time so the synergy is really good and these are one of the best DPS talents in the game. Uh, vigilance is nice option but if you will receive incoming damage vigilance will be on cooldown so it's kind of uh, a bummer. Um, for the chest piece talents uh, we have spark, spark is giving us less damage than obliterate, we have intimidate, intimidate for that you need bonus armor, uh, spotter, spotter will not work with capacitor, uh, glass cannon is really punishing so um, yeah there is not much options actually out there to rock. For the holster, uh, for the knee pads, excuse me, I'm using Murakami name and knee pads. For, for the gloves, I'm using Sombra gloves for crit damage buff. Uh, for the skills, I'm rocking shield, which will be, by the way, at maximum possible power, and that's uh, 6. And my fixer drone, which will heal me, will replace some necessary armor again from other setups, maybe like bulwark builds, things like that. And of course, it will have three skill tiers. And in PvP, again, it's really handy because you need three skill tiers to fight any skill build in DZ if, if you will find someone there. So, yeah, Butcher drops the mic. Stay safe. Love you all. Enjoy this build. Try it. Leave a comment down below. How did it work for you? Bye.